It's so noisy out there. Now it's very hard for me to film. Stop. It's noisy. Alright. Okay. Oh, my teeth looks extremely white in here. But actually my teeth is very yellow. I don't know why it becomes so white. Wow. The light is cheating on your eyes. It's cheating on your eyes. Welcome back to my channel and I'm Lily here. Today I'm going to review on the... What's that? What's that? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm Lily. So today I'm going to do a review on the new Sephora skincare range which is the... Uh, I'm not sure what it calls but if you are in uh, Sephora Asia, I believe that you have saw this. It's called Sephora Mix and Play, where they offer a whole range of skincare products like uh, face cleanser, makeup remover, lip balm, wet wipes. They have this promotion where if you buy four products from this range, then you will get one wet wipes. Uh, I mean like makeup removal wipes for free. So I picked up a few products from this range last week. I picked up two lip balms, actually one lip balm and one lip scrub and two makeup remover. So I have never tried the makeup remover yet. So now this is my first time trying it on camera to test out the functionality, I mean the efficiency. The effectiveness the, the functionality of it yeah so these are the four products that i pick up so the first thing that i pick up is this um coconut water lip balm so i love coconut and i mean not much on the smell but just coconut itself made me feel like it's refreshing and very hydrating moisturizing and with it's like a round shape with fur i just obsessed with that and the packaging is so cute it's white color with this little coconut on it coconut 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 c-o-c-o-n-u-t coconut the lip balm is white color too it's, it just makes me feel like i want to dip my finger in it you know it's, it feels I, I just want to take a bite on it it feels so yummy but I'm not a fan of the um, the scent itself because it it doesn't smells like this very refreshing coconut water but it smells like uh, the coconut milk like the Santa 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 Santa, Santa Claus. It smells like the coconut milk, you know, the coconut milk that you use to cook curry. And I haven't tried it out yet because I haven't finished with my all lip balm. And I will just keep this one. I just love the packaging. It's so cute and it says it's coconut water which makes me feel like it will be very refreshing every time I try it out. So it's just kind of the packaging trick you know the second thing here is this honey lip scrub sephora honey lip scrub and again the packaging is so cute with like yellow this yellowish orange 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 yellow color this one smells like honey butter and milk i'm not really sure this way, but it smells like when you mix honey and milk and butter together like that's that's the most thing I can describe with the scent here. I just feel like everyone should have at least one lip scrub in their collection so they can like uh, scrub exfoliate their lips uh, occasionally. So this is my first ever lip scrub that I own and I just feel like I need one in my life. And I've tried this out. The last time I tried it, I accidentally licked my lips and it has sweet it tastes sweet i'm not sure what is the lip balm part that tastes sweet or 
the little bits in it that taste sweet, but it just overall tastes like a honey milk with butter for me. It just tastes like something you can eat right out of the tube. And to prove that I'm not lying to you, that you can lick this one out of its tube, I'm going to lick it on camera for you. But it really tastes sweet. It really tastes sweet. Can you see that I just lick it just now? It's very unhygienic, but it's really like so fun if you can lick your lip balm, you know, lip scrub. But it really tastes sweet. Oh my god, it that tastes good. To make it more hygienic, I'm going to put it on my hand and lick it off my hand. That tastes sweet. That tastes good. Just get yourself a tube so you can bite into it. So the next three things I have here is actually a makeup remover. So the first thing that I pick up is this purifying and detoxifying charcoal micellar cleansing water. Apply to a cotton pad and run over face and eyes. You no need to rinse. That's a huge claim. Like you don't need to rinse your face. It's safe for you to use it to have this product on your face. So I'm going to test all of these later in one go. Now I will just explain it one by one. This one is the revitalizing and toning you do micellar cleansing gel for your face and for your eyes too. I'm not sure what is yuzu but I believe it's just lemon because there's a lemon feature on here unless there is like another fruit that looks like lemon and it's called yuzu. Also apply to a cotton pad and run over face and eyes and you don't need to rinse it. And the last thing here is this rose cleansing wipes. So it has 25 wipes in one packet and these they are free items for me because I've purchased four items here. So my cotton pad is ready. Let's try this. So now how I'm going to try this is I'm going to I have like mascara, eyeliner, eyebrow, pencil, lipstick liquid lipstick I mean and lipstick here so I'm going to just swatch them on my hand and use this one to remove them and see how functional how effective it is yeah effective that's the word so put it on my hand I feel like this is like a detergent commercial you know where they always like have some stand on the cloth and they just dip it in the solution and it get out clear instantly and this is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick it's known for extremely long lasting and this is the Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner so this is the mascara and the last thing I have to swatch here is eyeshadow so from my Tarte Tarte Lut eyeshadow and I'm going to swatch the darkest color here which is fashionista is this black color right here all right whoa this really intense can you see that now I need a tissue to wipe this out so if you can see here this one is the lipstick this one is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick this one is the eyeliner and this one is my eyebrow pencil and this one is the mascara and this one last one is the eyeshadow so first of all I will try out this charcoal micellar cleansing water first and I have to open the packaging take out a cotton pad fold it into half because here's the trick every time when you remove your makeup you are supposed to dampen this whole cotton uh, pad with the solution but if you lay it flat like this, you are going to like make this whole area wet, you know. So it's very wasting. Uh, usually what I will do is I will fold it in half and just put the solution on this half of the uh, cotton pad. So it can do like double penetration to wet the whole cotton pad. So now let's remove this all with this one. Here. 
Okay, first wipe, as you can see, because I just wipe it from the middle, so can you see this one? The lipstick is partially gone, but this is just the first swipe. The lipstick is like only partially left here. The Kat Von D lipstick, liquid lipstick, is still stay on like it's fresh. The liquid liner here is partially gone. The eyebrow pencil here is also only partially leaves on here. And the mascara partially leaves on. And the eyeshadow is almost gone. So this is just the first wipe. Let's see the second time. I wipe it. Just just a little bit that stays on so I'm just going to continue wipes it. It cleans out. Okay, now still the same with the lipstick, Kat Von D liquid lipstick, the eyeliner and eyebrow pencil and the mascara and eyeshadow. So I'm going to try out this one which is the um, you do micellar cleansing gel and since this one is not in a liquid form so I will just use a flat cotton pad and put it in it's here not sure if you can see it but it looks a bit like your ear wax on a cotton pad as you see it it's not cheating the first wipe Still, the Kat Von D liquid lipstick is still stay on. Only a little bit get removed, and for the other, it remove almost all of them. This is the second swatch. Is it almost get removed all of them? Almost. So I'm going to just rub this off, and you can see only. The liquid lipstick, the Kat Von D liquid lipstick, that's like still stand on it a little bit. It's clean and it smells like it smells like lemon lemon zest. It smells like lemon zest. So now I'm going to try out the cleansing wipes. And by the way, I changed my uh, Kat Von D liquid lipstick to another shade because I figured out the last one that I used to swatch is the one that I always use so I don't want to waste it so here is the swatch um, this the last one is the mascara because I forget to put it on before the eyeshadow I'm going to try out this one it's their Sephora Rose Cleansing Wipes let's open it up uh, it's new, it's still brand new, oh my gosh Oh, it smells really nice. Now, let's see the first wipes. Okay, maybe I didn't really wet the product to stay on long enough. I just wiped it right away. So that makes it like very easy to be wiped away. But anyway, still, as you can see, the Kat Von D liquid lipstick, it it get removed more than the cleansing uh the micellar cleansing water and cleansing gel so the second wipes it get removed almost all of them can you see it i believe the third wipe will remove all of them so and now it's gone it's all gone now i'm going to test out a little experiment to see like if the whole beauty or makeup industry actually is cheating on us I'm going to remove the makeup using the baby wipes and this is the baby wipes from Watson just a normal baby wipes to wipe your baby's butt let's witness the truth together shall we here is all of them let's see first wipe First wipe. Okay, maybe it's really the thing that I didn't wait for them to uh, dry down. Second time. And the third time.
I would say it's a little bit harder to remove because you have to like wipe off, wipe off, like really use your force to wipe off the product but still it can remove the makeup these two I would say I prefer the gel one because it removes makeup easier than the liquid one maybe I need to apply this more because I didn't wet the whole cotton pad entirely so maybe it doesn't really function well that way but overall I still prefer the gel one so I don't recommend this one and it also smells really nice I don't really like the smell of the charcoal one and for the baby wipes I have no comment on it like please don't judge the whole beauty industry based on my little experiment right here because I don't really wet for the product to dry down before I remove it I just swatch it on and just remove it instantly so I do say that if you are a beauty guru or like a beauty blogger that you need to constantly swatch a different product on your skin you can just remove it using the baby wipes because it's really good in removing swatches just as good as the cleansing wipe so you can just save on a few dollars by just use it use the baby wipes to remove it because it's just swatches anyway it's not on your face for removing real makeup I have haven't test out with this one and this one yet because I um, don't really get the chance to test it out I do still say use a proper cleansing wipe because from just now I noticed that this one is a little bit harder to remove makeup than this one so still I do say that use a proper cleansing wipes to remove your makeup if you are going to remove dust swatches then just save your money and use baby wipes so that's all from me today i hope you really like my video and enjoy my little experiment on the product and also do check out the sephora mix and play skincare range where you get to experiment with all these fun products here and i think most of them is only like 26 ringgit 29 ringgit it's not really like the super expensive one if you happen to feel like want to try out the skincare range i just say go ahead to try it out because it's really good and for those of you who love to shop online don't forget to check out shop bag here i mean you can click on it you you can go ahead and click on the link that is in the description box below anyway you can check on the site here it's called shop bag where you can get cash rebate for your every online purchase i mean it's amazing right make sure you check that out and i will link link i will link the link i will link it down below check it out so that's all from me and i hope you like my video do stay tuned for more subscribe likes and share of course of this three thing if you can do all of them i do really appreciate it also follow me on my social media i have facebook twitter instagram snapchat all of those i will link it down below right in the description box all right so thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye